Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Just a just quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. Um, we make videos for uh, on adult hobbies, including adult colouring, photography and reading. Uh, this is not in any way, shape or form intended for or aimed at children. We discuss adult themes in our colouring chats and we colour in adult colouring books as a form of relaxation uh, from anxiety and depression. I myself suffer from a quite bad depression from time to time and I do find that when I'm feeling depressed or anxious, um, colouring really helps. Um, I wasn't going to make a video tonight um, other than my complete, not my complete, my book haul for the month. Um, but I've had a hell of a day and I just want to sit in colour for a while and we'll get into that in a second. So this is an adult channel. It is intended for adults only. So I've just spent the last 10 minutes looking through Wintertime Mandela's by Camellia Angel Cover, trying to decide which one to do. I didn't want anything too Christmassy because Christmas is now gone and we're into headlong, hurtling and headlong towards the new year. So I'm going to do this little kitten now there is a Christmas bauble in there. She's asleep in this little mandala and I'm going to colour this in both pencils and gel pens. I'm going to do the gel pens first. Um, um, the middle bit, most of the middle bit is going to be pencil um, but the outside will be mostly the uh, gel pens. And we're using the Link Shines and also try and use up a few more of the ones I've got left from my oldest set, two sets. I've also got my own Castellas if I so need them. So, where to start? Because we have got a lot of bits in here to colour. So we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna do some glitter gel pens, which means I'm gonna get covered in glitter when I'm colouring in the rest of it later, but hey, who cares? So, hello, how are you? Did you have a very nice Christmas? I did. You will have seen the uh, colouring books that I received um, for my Christmas uh, from my partner, the, all the colouring stuff I got, which is great. Um, excuse me, sniffling a little bit. I'm very pleased with what I got. I'm very, very happy, very grateful. You got me two hardback books, as you've seen, Botanicum and Jewelry Box. I'm very happy with those. Among other things, got some books on Hollywood. Two books uh, relating to Judy Garland. One is um, A Star is Reborn, which is about the Obviously, Star is Born. I can't remember what it's actually called. Here it is. Um, a Star is Born, Judy Garland and the film that got away. Hardback book. And then I also got... got another book somewhere. Here it is. Uh, let me show you. So there's the Star is Born one. It's a bit big. You're a bit close, obviously. Let me just take you over there. You go. There's that one. And the Ruby Slippers of Oz 30 Years Later. So, Reese Thomas wrote a book a few years ago about uh, the history of the Ruby Slippers and what happened to them. Um, and he's updated it because uh, obviously they were stolen uh, from one pair, was stolen from the Judy Garland Museum at Grand Rapids. Um, and then they uh, replaced, they, they found it a year or so ago. And then my mum and dad got me Hollywood Then and Now, which is a nice little hardback book here, which has Tom Yule and Marilyn Monroe and the Seven Rich on the cover with the Cinemascope at the Chinese Theatre. So I'm assuming it is showing pictures of Hollywood Then and Hollywood Now. Hollywood Studio Club, yeah, they're awesome. That's really cool. I haven't had a chance to really look at them yet. And Paul gave me a book called uh, Lulu in Hollywood, which is about, which is by and about Louise Brooks. And then I also got my normal Marilyn Monroe calendar, which I get every, get one every year. And I got three movies. My brother, who bought me one of the books, got me um, the film 
a Yank in the RAF, which is a bit agreeable, and I think Tyrone Power. I don't know without looking. And then Paul gave me a Teacher's Pet, which is obviously Doris Day and Clark Gable. Also, Mamie Van Doren. And then he also gave me, what do you mean? Uh, Pan, no, Diary of Lost Girl, which is Louise Brooks. So that's really awesome. Also gave me perfume and a few other bits and pieces, which was nice. So today, uh, you'll be probably watching this on uh, probably Sunday, I think. Um, maybe Monday, I don't actually know. But anyway, on Saturday the 28th, we were went to Newport and got picked up Colour in Heaven. Um, but we popped into Boots because Jennifer hurt her finger a week ago or so. And as far as we considered, it was getting better and it was looking fine. And then suddenly um, yesterday, it started uh, weeping. So... We took her to the, the pharmacist and said, look, I'll do like this one actually while that one dries. Can you have a look? Um, I think it's infected. It was getting better. It just seems to have started weeping. So she had a look at it and she said, yes, it's, 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 um, it's infected. You need to take her to the doctor. Well, of course, it's a weekend, so there's no doctors until flipping Monday. And then if you can get an appointment. So she said, we'll take her to the out of hours. So our out of hours is either A&E at the Gwent. Yeah, you've got to be kidding me, I ain't going there. Mainly because there's nowhere to park. It's a nightmare at the Gwent. So we took her to um, another local hospital, which has a minor injuries unit or a local emergency centre, they call it. Uh, and that is uh, Astrid Manach. Or it's a bit Astrid Farr. And um, so we didn't get to go to the record fair, unfortunately. But we needed to get Jennifer's finger sorted out. So we was there for ages, obviously, because the minor injuries, A&E, it's not, you know, it's not a major incident, but uh, they can deal with some serious things. And uh, she went in to see the doctor first, eventually. Doctor had a look, said, right, yeah, definitely something going on there, gave her some cowpole. And then... She said, well, I just want to send her for an x-ray. I'm sure that's not the right cap for that one because it's not fitting right. Um, send her for an x-ray just to check, make sure it's not broken or anything like that. Well, I knew it wasn't broken because she's been using the finger and, you know, she's been moving it. She's not been having any problems with it, apart from it seeping. So she went and had an x-ray and she was really good for the, the radiographer who was really nice. We went back and waited for a little bit longer. Luckily, this, I mean, we were waiting over an hour for the first bit and after that it speeded up a bit and then we went to see the nurse practitioner who has a look at it said yeah we'll clean it up so she cleaned it up lovely with some whatever it is some soothing cleaning fluid and Jennifer was good as gold she just sat there and let the nurse do it put a bandage on it and a dress in and uh, got some antibiotics for her to keep infection, just keep an eye on it. She said, if the dressing comes off, don't panic. Just put a plaster on it. It'll be fine. So we've been sitting there since like 12 o'clock. None of us have had anything to eat. We have had drinks because we were sensible to buy some drinks. So we're all starving. Jennifer's starving. So we bring her home. We, we stop and get some fish and chips, well, sausage and chips from the chip shop. This is just after four o'clock. Park the car, do Jennifer her lunch, which, she, well, her tea, and she ate every single scrap, which I'm not surprised because she likes it. She hadn't ate from, since breakfast, and she didn't eat all of that properly. She didn't want all of her breakfast. Um, and then put her down for a nap, because she was tired. She fell asleep on the way back in the car. So less than an hour later, I can hear her grizzling, so I come downstairs to get her out of her trough cot. Come play pen. She's just sitting there playing. I can tell she needs changing. Not a problem. And I notice her bandage has already come off. I'm like, seriously? She's already managed to get the dressing off. 
which I was like, oh my god, really? So I changed her, cleaned her up, washed my hands, and then got a pool patrol <laughs> plaster. She got pool patrol plasters. She loves pool patrol. She plays twirly woos are her favourite, I think. But she also likes teddy hubbies. Anyway, enough of that. Um, and she was good as gold. And I changed it. And she was like she was looking at it and saying, what's this for, mum? You know. And I'm like, no, just keep it on for now. And then when the time was right, I gave her some antibiotics. And she stayed up for a bit and we played. And then we put her to bed about half past seven. Good as gold. She's been good as gold. She was so brave. It looks like there's a great big white bit missing there, but it's not. I think it's just shiny. Yeah, it's just shiny. She was such a brave girl. I'm so proud of her. So we just got to keep an eye on it now and give her the antibiotics and uh, see how it goes. It should clear up in a week or so. But I will keep an eye on it. So I didn't buy any records, so I still got all the money that I had for Christmas. It was only 40 quid, but still. Um, which I was going to spend on records, or possibly one or two records, if I saw anything I wanted. I've still got it, so I might have a look on eBay for some records. See if there's anything I want. I mean, I do want George Harrison Cloud 9, so I might just get that on eBay. And then I'm, I'll probably get a diamond painting kit. But I, I want to save those up, so I'm not going to be doing... I've got, obviously, I've got to finish. I think they're the wrong way around, are they? No, that's not. The one I'm doing before I start anything else. So I'm, what I plan on doing, I've got a few I want to get. And then I might do an unboxing. So if you'd like to see a diamond painting unboxing, I can't guarantee how long it's going to be. It's probably going to be months and months before I get it. Get it get enough to warrant it because I can't afford them all in one go and then I might spend some money on some more colouring books like I said I do want to get the uh, Clara Markova books and they are £30 to get shipped here the books themselves are like something like £21 or 20 quid, and the shipping is like a tenner which isn't bad really but I really want them so I really do want them and I've never, you know, but I said I wouldn't get them to the end of January. Don't put your hands in the glitter hand. Uh, because I'll see how much money I've got left in my bank. So Chris, my brother, gave, Jennifer had loads of presents. He gave her money, gave her £25, which I've put in my bank account. And I've just got to transfer it over into hers, which I will do shortly. I forgot to do it this evening, but I will do it. I'll do it in a bit. Um, so that was nice of him. And he'll probably give her the same for her birthday, but she had loads of stuff. We bought her a ball pit, another doll, one that speaks. I don't even know where it is now. It's here somewhere. Um, and a load of books. Because obviously we buy her loads of stuff throughout the year as well. So, And then... My mum and dad bought her a book, a magnetic building kit and a gardening set because she likes to help granddad in the garden. And then her Nana Sally bought her loads of stuff, a box full of the next size clothes up. So the year two to three, which is fine because I'll just put them in the wardrobe till she needs them. Um, she bought her a clock with the numbers in, in the shaped blocks, which she um, obviously needs to put the shapes in. She can do that already. If she gets confused, if you just point to the right white one, she'll she'll put it in exactly the right way immediately. So. Um, what else did she buy her? She bought uh, two sets of musical instruments. So she's got, in one there's a glockenspiel, maracas, triangle, egg shakers. There's, there's two lots and there's four items in each. There's a drum, a tambourine, sleigh bells, and something else. Oh my god, she loves them. Um, and an alphabet bus. And her dad, Paul's dad got her a Duplo townhouse set 
which I must admit we haven't put together yet, but that's something we'll do when we've got a day where we can just sit and play with it. And now Christmas is over, we, we can do it, so that will be shortly. So, yeah. I've got three more whips that I'm working on to try and get them finished before the end of the year. I've got one in a Colour in Heaven magazine that's almost finished actually. It only needs a, a little bit in a background. If I do a background, I might just use the Pebbles chalks. Um, and then there's the st Still the Whimsy Girls Christmas one. I still haven't finished that one. I haven't done anything since Christmas, since we had our, that's the wrong one, our colour and chat on it. But I will finish it, and I've got the one in Seasons I want to finish. Um, I will admit I'm practically all Christmas out, so I'll be glad when it's January and I can just pick random stuff. So I want to do something in the current colour in Heaven one. I might do one in the Alice special. Um, yeah, there's a good few that I want to do stuff in, I will admit. That's the problem when you've got so many colouring books. Now, if I get a chance, I can start filming my colouring book collection because it's going to be as of January the 1st. So I don't want to, I won't be adding anything that I get in January in it. It will just be all stuff from uh, up until January the 1st. And then if we get enough books, we'll do hauls. Even if we get four or five, we'll still do them. I can see me still getting four or five hauls. Books every year, a month. As long as I'm careful and I don't spend too much money on them. My problem is I've got so many that I haven't coloured in. Which is why I'm trying to colour in every single one. I've got still got loads of Christmas ones I haven't touched. Um, but of course, uh, hopefully we'll do we'll do Christmas in July and we'll do one picture a week for Christmas in July and that'll be another full book because I'll make sure that it's books that I haven't coloured in when I do them. So let me just uh, push this uh, down so I can get to it and you can see it. So this isn't going to work because the camera's tripod's in the way. Hang on a sec, let me just move that, that's better. Yeah, so let it focus. I think I've got another... Oh dear me. One, two, three, four, five, six colouring books. So if I can get four of those done in July for Christmas in July, that would be brilliant. That would be absolutely fantastic if I could do four more. So we'll we'll wait and see. Um if I can get four of them done. And then of course I'll have two left for next Christmas. And I'll prioritise those two. I say that, it might all change by then and I might get another 10 million Christmas books. I do like the Christmas ones. It's a shame it's only really one month a year. I know we did Christmas in July, but I can't colour a whole month of Christmas pictures. It would drive me up the wall. So obviously next year we will be doing the Hannah Lynn yearly colour along, um, which is the artist of the year. Um, we won't necessarily be doing the same pictures as John because I don't have all the books, so I know for a fact he's doing Steampunk Darlings. I don't have that book yet. It, I'm not saying I'm not going to get it. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to afford to get it. Because I'm trying to save all my money from eBay. at the moment so and I'm just li spending the money I earn from work and of course I've got my normal bills my phone bill um, stuff like that going out of that so I can't actually buy as many books as I would want so and like I said I do want to get the Clara Markovas ones off of Etsy this year so I know that that's going to be 30 quid every time I do it and I want to try and get them all by by May so that's one every month because you've got four out so that'll be one January, February, March and April if I can. If I can't I will still get them when I can 
I definitely want to get one at the end of January. But of course that won't be, you won't see that until February because it will be literally ordered at the end of the month when I know what I've got left. If I've got enough money left. Now, if we're lucky, we will get a bonus at work again this year like we did last year. Now last year I put it all aside to buy my garden shed. Uh, this year I won't get as much because it's prorated down because I'm part time now. I was full time um, even though I was on maternity leave. Uh, for the last one, so I won't get as much, but I should still get around £300, I hope. Now, I'm under the tax threshold, because I work part-time, so I don't pay tax on that. I won't pay tax on my uh, uh, bonus, with, with any luck. I mean, obviously I don't have to clear my uh, eBay earnings, it might push me slightly over the tax threshold, but we'll deal with that. That's why I've got a separate account where I put a lot of money in most of my eBay money goes into and it's for the stuff for the business and tax so come May when I've done my tax return I'll, uh, I'll know what I need to pay off and what I can keep but that's what I do I don't wait I mean I know in, in the UK tax is done differently than in America and that but uh, basically our tax year runs till April the 5th or the 6th and then you get your P60, which is your year-end tax report from your main job. So I get that from my main job around the beginning of May, end of April, beginning of May, or end of May. Sometime in May, anyway. Um, basically, I print that off. And then I bring it home. I put all the information from that onto my tax return, along with my eBay earnings. And then it calculates what I need to pay for me. So if it says you need to pay this amount, I pay this amount now. So last year, I didn't need to pay anything. It was still under the tax threshold. Um, I don't think it will be this year. I think it will be just over. But I um, still pay, paid voluntary national insurance number, uh, contributions. So you don't have to pay national insurance if you're earning under a certain amount self-employed. I did, because I think I might as well. It's all going to help towards my state pension should it still exist when I retire at the age of God knows what. Also helps pay for things like the NHS and I do use the NHS a lot so I'm quite happy to pay voluntary contribute extra voluntary contributions on that. I don't have a problem at all with that. Well like I said at the moment I'm saving all my profits in in two accounts. Well three accounts because we've got a account which we're using to save money to renovate our living, our, our various rooms, um, including the room I'm sitting in because it's not been done yet. I've got my business, well, my account where I keep my business money, and I've got my uh, my ISA or my individual savings account. Excuse me, sniffing, which is where I've got my main savings, which of course have been decimated due to having to buy a new car, which is fab, but it's there is a problem with it. It's not a major one, I think it's a loose wire because it doesn't happen all the time. Every now and again, um, especially when I'm just slowing down to stop, the oil light will flash on and it'll beep, but that, that beep is just to let you know that there's something that needs attention. Um, but the oil light will flash on. Now it's not all the time, so I'm assuming, I'm, I don't know if it is, but I'm thinking it is just a loose wire. But it's okay because Carl is going to have the car next weekend. Have a look at it for me and let me know what's going on. So that'll be great. So, bless him. So I just wanted, just thought I'd let you know. So it's best I check it out. I'll have it next weekend. I said, that's fine. I don't think it's anything major, to be honest. Because he's practically replaced absolutely everything on that car he's certainly put a new oil and new oil filters and cleaned it all out so I know there's nothing wrong with the oil so I haven't driven it that much <laughs> so. you can't even see what I'm doing sorry oh I'm so useless sometimes so everybody's gone to bed early I think it's just been such a wearing day with taking Jennifer to the hospital and everything. I just needed to, I need to colour, but uh, I think everybody's just worn out, so. 
it's been a very difficult day with that. So, yes, I didn't spend any money. Well, I did because I bought Colour in Heaven and like, Yours Retro, which had Marilyn on the cover. But I didn't spend anything on records like I would have. And they are more expensive than you, but there's just so much fun of digging through the crates and looking for something and maybe finding something you didn't know you wanted. Or finding something you do want. Um, that's two record fairs in a row I've missed because last time we missed one because Paul had broken his ankle. And this time it's called Paul, Paul Jennifer and her, her finger, but that's okay. There's another one in April, I think it is the next one. April, then October, or September, maybe, I don't know. It must have been August actually. Anyway, there's one in it towards in the summertime ish. One in April, one mid year. And then one at New Year, so it used to be on a weekday. It's not anymore, which I'm grateful for because I'm usually in work. So, so like I said, we're going to do a couple of these, and then I'll finish it off. Hopefully before the end of the year. I'm not one for having a lot of whips on the go, and having three Christmas whips is already doing my head in. I, I mean, the one I've had. The Whimsy Girls Christmas has been hanging around for over a year. Well, since last Christmas. And I definitely, desperately want to finish that one. I want to finish Seasons. And the Colour in Heaven one I'm on the go. I've got on the go. I've nearly finished anyway, so I'm not worried about that one. I'll probably finish that one tomorrow. Um, I like this morning I woke up at five o'clock and my back was aching, so I got out of bed. Come down. Made a cup of tea, excuse me sniffing, I seem to have a bit of a cold again. Um, had a cup of tea and I sat there, watched some YouTube and I coloured in the one I was doing with the gold Faber pencils which is the nice little Christmas book. I started that on Christmas day with them just to see what they were like. I really liked them and I can't wait to use them again and hopefully get the next, get some more, whether it's open stock or, oh, I am sniffling, just buy in the, the full 48 set and, you know, using them all. Oh, it's so cute, this picture. I think I've finished seven so far. Is it seven or eight? Let me just check. One, two, three, five, six. There's another one somewhere. Seven. Yeah, seven so far. One of them's not Christmas. But, uh, <laughs> that's another story. Um, always gets confusing over Christmas. As to what day is what. And work is so boring. eBay sales have been quiet, but not that quiet. <laughs> I have had a few, which I'm glad. It's up in my profits for a bit. Like I said, I'm in profit, that's what matters. Um, I listed three cameras the other day and one sold the same night. I probably could have put more, got more for it. But to be honest, I just wanted some sales and it doesn't owe me any money. And if I'd put it up higher, it could have been hanging around for ages, so I'm happy with the price I got. That hasn't gone off yet, it'll go off on Monday. Um, I had a sale today, somebody offered me uh, 10 quid on a top, I had 11.99 on, so I went, yeah, go on then, why not? I've taken lower offers on items of similar prices. And uh, I, I'm happy with that, you know, that, uh, you know, I'm in profit. Every little now helps before New Year to push me higher. It's partly my fault I haven't done much listing. I have taken some photographs of some cameras. I just need to take some batteries up and test them. And it's literally only test, testing the flash. As long as the flash goes, they'll be fine. And they're only really cheap compacts. They'll be listed for around 650 with 350 postage. So there'll be like a tenner including the postage. 
um, and I'll probably put offers on them as well just to try and get shot. I've got so many cameras to get rid of that uh, I really want to do some more. So I'll try and test those tomorrow. It was something I was going to do today, but with everything that's happened today, it's just been, ugh. Obviously getting up at five o'clock didn't help, and then all that stuff with Jennifer, and taking her to the hospital and hanging on. She was good as gold, to be fair. To, and at the end she was, she'd had enough, she was trying to run out the door away from the nurse and she was getting a bit upset and fractious, even back to the car she was a bit cryy. As soon as we set off on the way home though she dozed off and went to sleep and slept all the way back which was good, she needed it. But she's not got a temperature or anything. I know what to look out for, I just keep an eye on her and see how she goes. She should be fine for nursery, she should be. She's with mum on Monday anyway, mum and dad, so she'll be alright there. I know it's nursery on Tuesday and then of course it's New Year's Day and we're, we're off again. And in fact, January, we've got a lot of days off in January because we've only got one full week in work. So obviously next week is New Year's Day. The week after we've got the Friday off because the Saturday's Paul's birthday. And we're going to take Jennifer into Cardiff as long as it's not raining. If not, we'll go on a Monday. And then we've got the Monday off again because we're making it a long weekend. And then the following week we're in the entire week. I'm going to use the blues and the link shine for the next one because I haven't actually used much of those. Um, and then it's, like I said, it's his birthday on the Saturday. And then so we've got the Monday off. And then we've got a full weekend. And then it's Jennifer's birthday, so she'll be two, so we're having a, a day off for that as well. And Paul's mum will be up that day, my mum and dad will be up that day. We'll probably take her out on Saturday somewhere. I know these are snowflakes, but I'm just colouring them in blue. Or they're supposed to be icicles or something. I like this blue. So yeah, it's been very busy. Very, very busy. Except for at work, which was very quiet and you just felt, why am I here? Um, but hey, it is what it is. And we do what we do. I'm going to use some silver as well. I do like these link shine pens, I'm not going to lie, they're lovely. So I'm going to colour this bit in blue. There we are. And then we're going to put silver here. And then what we'll do is the inner ring will do silver as well, I think. But we'll do that when we've done the rest of it. So here we are. It's looking good. I don't know how long we've been talking for because the camera shut off. <laughs> it automatically stopped. And I don't know what it stopped on. So. so what we'll be doing is we'll just finish off these blue bits and the inner ring. I'll call it a night then. And then we'll, uh, excuse me, sniffling, do the inner parts of it with pencils in the next episode. And that would be the end of 2019. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't have any colouring goals for 2020 other than to colour. I don't set goals because I find I always have, did, have done like the Goodreads challenge and the last two years I failed because I just haven't had time to read as much as I wanted to. Um, so I'm gradually reducing the number of books I'm, I'm trying to read. So this year I was trying to read 100 and I've read something like 65. Two of them I haven't put on yet so I've got to put them on. I still will put them on though. So this next year I'm gonna 
reduce down to 75 to see if I can do that. And it's not because I don't want to read, I do. I'm always trying to get a few pages in, whether it's listening to an audiobook or reading at the hairdresser. I just don't read as much as I used to, which is a shame. But it is what it is, and I wouldn't be without Jennifer, so I have to live with it, don't I? So I'm just going to do that, fold that up like that. You see that? That's better. She's everything. She's the best thing in the world, and I would not be without her, so. I, obviously, I could be reading now, but I'm colouring and making nice videos, which I also enjoy. So it's just a bit of give and take on what I want to do. So my only colouring goal really is to try and colour in as many books as I can that I haven't already done a page in. And obviously to complete any whips. I don't have many whips because like I said, I don't like having whips hanging around. So tomorrow I will try and finish Seasons, I think, because I'm not far off. There's bits I can't do, though, that I can, you know, there are bits I can do and I can't do because I need certain things, so. That doesn't make any sense, I know, but. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to try, anyway, to finish Seasons and A Whimsy Girl's Christmas before. New Year's Midnight, so I include it in my roundup for the month. I will finish the Colouring Heaven one first, like I said that's very close to the end. It's whether or not I want to do a background, that's what's going to hold me up if I want to do a background because it's... That went a bit out of the lines, never mind. It's a very big white page, something I might just use some uh, green or blue pebbles chalks on the background. We don't hear about them these days, do we? Everything changes in the colouring world, but I've got these things and I'm going to use them. I used them on one of my Christmas pictures already, which you'll see. So if I can finish those three and this one, that will give me 11 finishes for the month, which for me is very good, because I do have a few days off when I don't colour at all and I might read or I do my eBay. I mean I've had a big break off of eBay other than listing those cameras the other day. I've got a ton of stuff to do on it so and I've got to start. Because the sale I normally go to is not on until the 7th of January. So I really want to clear as much of the clothing I've got from there, get it listed as I can. And make life easier. And all that means is I've just got to photograph it. Photograph it, measure it and pack it. Then just get it listed as and when. I've got some stuff down here that needs measuring. I've just not got round to it. Which is annoying me. Because I do want to do it. I could have done some of it tonight but I decided to make videos instead. Because I think, you know, making stuff for you guys who support me is important as well because you are there for me. You subscribe, you watch, you comment. And I appreciate it. So I like to put out new videos as often as I can. I mean, there may come a time when I don't and that might be because I'm on all day for a week. Although you might find that I will schedule things. So it's not obvious that I'm away. Sometimes I don't bother. I'm enjoying this one. This is quite relaxing and it's going to be nice to do the kitten in the middle. I just don't know what colour to do her. I'm saying it's a her because of the bow. Mm, I'll have to think about that. And I didn't pick this one because it was the simplest. I, I went through them all and I thought, 
I've always done baubles, I've done gingerbread men, I've done this, I've done that. I don't really want to do that. I mean, I know there is one bauble on here, but it's only one that the cat's been playing with. So I don't mind that so much, but if it, there's, a, there's a lovely one in here of just baubles. Um, but because I've done so many baubles, I don't want to anymore. Bauble focus ones. I will probably do one of them next year. For this year we'll do this little kitten she's so cute it's just got to decide what color to do a blanket or whatever it is she's wrapped up in there's a scarf it's probably a hat or a hat and a coat i think so sweet and we'll get the pencils out for that i don't know which one yet maybe Maybe the colour softs? I don't know. Whatever's around. They're all here by me anyway. I haven't used the erosion tins for a long time. And I think that's because they're upstairs. There's a few sets of pencils upstairs. What's upstairs? There's the Faber Castell Classics, which I actually do like and I have done some nice pictures with. The erosion tins. And the marker of themes, I think. I think everything else is down here. I think. This is quite a long one, I know. Um, as long as you don't mind it being a long one, I'm quite happy for you to see this whenever it is you see it. I think it probably be Monday. So you might get two days in a row. I do want to put one out Tuesday night if I get a chance to film one, which will be the rest of this. She's so cute, this kitten. So I'm going to finish this in a bit, uh, what we're doing on this tonight, and then I'm off to bed. One of the sets I do like, I do like the Black Widows. I haven't really used the W. H. Smith's ones yet. I've got to use them soon. I might use them on a picture in the new year and we'll review them together. I have swatched them. They're all right. They're quite hard, I think. I find it hard to tell, I've got to be honest, because I haven't really coloured with them. But they got 48, it's a nice selection of colours. We should be able to get a skin tone out there if we so wish to do a, a skin tone picture. Um, I haven't decided yet what I'm doing. I might do Alice and use them in Alice. I think that's probably what I'll do. Use them in Alice. We've nearly finished now, I promise. We've got one more of these icicles to go and then the silver bar. I might even do the bauble because it is going to be done in glitter pen. So I just want all the all the glitter gel pen done today and then the rest of it will be pencils. Though I might put some sparkles on her bow. I might not. I might just leave that plain. I like this book. I mean, I'm going to really enjoy this book next year, I think. And the same with the Christmas ones. Oh, I've got so many Christmas books. And there's still so many more I want. You know, it is a very expensive hobby. And you can see it doesn't have to be. I mean, and I don't just mean monetary, though. I mean, it's very time expensive, so it's time consuming. And monetary, it can be if you want to buy lots of books every month. So I think I'm going to limit myself to no more than five next month. And that's got to include, well, that would be February's, but Clara, Clara Markova's. I'm going to say no, no more than five every month. It does not include Colour in Heaven because that's already paid for. So I'm not paying for that. So as that's paid for, it will be six. I say that, I'll probably end up buying more. 
my problem is I see books, I look at them when I'm bored, and that's it, I start buying them. I think, oh, I'll have that one, that one's nice. And then I'm like, oh no, don't, don't do this. Right, I'm just going to do the spool ball before I go around the edge completely with the silver. I love, love these Link Shine pens. So let me show you the ball ball there is. Because I just keep forgetting to move the page. I haven't done any of the diamond painting for a while and I've decided I'm going to leave it till New Year. The reason being is I do want to finish these whips and that's the only reason. Because I'll find I'll sit there and I will diamond paint for hours and hours and hours and lose complete track of time and I just can't afford to do it at the moment. Um, I want to get these whips done, I want to get my eBay stuff photographed and drafted so I really need the time for that. So I do need to prioritise that stuff. I've got till the 20, I've got to the beginning of February to finish diamond painting. So once I've got my Christmas whips done, uh, my photographing and my eBay is getting to a point where I've, I'm draft, I'm listing five a day, um, photographing seven or eight and measuring six and so on, that sort of thing. Again, then I'll look at it. It's most important just to get them all photographed so that I've got that room empty. What I want, it's not that I want the room empty, it's just what I want to be able to do. There we go, that's that bit done. When I come back from the sale on, say, a Tuesday or Thursday, if I've bought anything, say I buy five or six items, I can, oh, I've missed it. I can just photograph them either that day or the next day straight away and it's done. There's nothing else I need to do. It's out of the way. It's, it's I'm on top of it. Because on days when I've got nothing clothing to list, I've still got all those cameras. So that's my plan is to get the clothing drafted. All that done so that when I go to the sale sometimes I might bring back 10 items sometimes I'll only bring back two the idea is that I can photograph them either that day or the next day get them, get them drafted measured and packed away into their boxes get them ready to go and then just start putting them live and then on days where I don't have any clothing to not necessarily put live but to work on and get it drafted I can draft and photograph the other things such as the um, cameras. I said Chris got some stuff for me to sell and he wants the profits to go into Jennifer's bank account which I'm happy to do but again I can't prioritise that I've got to prioritise the business stuff but once I've run out of stuff to do like that then it'll be oh I'll list some of those games of Christopher's or this pair of shoes of Christopher's And um, we'll uh, get done. So we're nearly finished now. We're just doing this uh, this ring silver around the edge of the cat. Where she's sleeping. You can't see what I'm doing again. I can't see what I'm doing. I've got my glasses on for some reason. My glasses are mostly for long distance, so I'm not sure why I'm wearing them. This is such a pretty picture. It really is so nice. I'm gonna think of a background for it as well. Not the outside, but the inside where the cat is, that she's sleeping on something. And then we got a bit of a wall in the background, so we'll do that. Oh, so cute. I'll try and plan the colors for next time. Oh, 
up. I do need to do the top of the bauble. I forgot that bit. There we are. Wow. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching my new films. That I've got. Oh, I don't think I've seen any of them. I might have seen Diary of a Lost Girl once. I might have, I think. I think I have. That was a long time ago. And that's okay. I know I haven't seen Yank in the RF. I've definitely seen Teacher's Pet. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed one of those. Whoops. But again, such a long time ago. And I've still got Wonder Woman to watch. I'm going to watch a film New Year's Day. I haven't watched any films this Christmas. I normally try and watch Meet Me in St. Louis. Although, you can watch that any time of year, even though there's a Christmas scene in it. It's a Wonderful Life. I like to watch every Christmas. I haven't this year. I think part of the reason is that Jennifer's too young to sit and watch films. So I have to do it after she's gone to bed. Because she just wants to see BBs on. As long as I don't have to sit through Hansel and Bloody Gretel again. Three times we've watched that. Nutcracker once. Alice twice. Oh. She enjoys it. She enjoys the music. She loves the music. Right, that's enough for tonight. There we go. I will just uh, zoom out and show you. I might have to do a bit of touching up on the silver because I can't really see what I'm doing. Here we are. So we've done the outer ring and the bauble, apart from the silver top, which I'll do in a second, which won't take me a second to do, it's just here. I don't know, I always do them silver, because I always remember them as being silver, even though the ones I've got this year are gold. But there you go. That's done. So this was done with them, mostly with Link Shine, but also with a few of my other older gel pens, which I could not tell you who they were by. This is a really long video, it's probably about 40, 50 minutes long. So I hope you've enjoyed this colouring catch up. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm shattered after the long day I've had. And we'll continue this um, in another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below. Let me think, know what you think. Um, don't forget to share and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, I do appreciate everyone. And um, hit the notification bell. See, I'm getting tired, I can't think now. Uh, so that you will get notified every time I post a new video. Most of this stuff is now gonna be coloring. It's just what I'm doing at the moment. It's my main hobby. I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.